Hey, welcome to another episode of Getting Into Infosec Bytes, short videos under five minutes with covering resources and information that will help you get into the cybersecurity field. So let's get into today's topic is blue teams. And so if we get into uh, what exactly are blue teams? Well, uh, you have blue teams, red teams, and purple teams. And in general, uh, in my opinion, um, most of those that are employed in the security field uh, leased enterprises and corporations are going to be on the blue team side. So what is a blue team member? Well, Daniel Messler has an excellent post on exactly what a blue team, red team, and even purple team, which is a combination of both. And so if we hop into the site here, we'll take a look and he goes into the different definitions. But in general, a blue team is an internal team that is focused on defending uh, against attackers and something I like to say uh, to folks who don't know about what security field is I try to tell them uh, Try to keep the bad guys out and the good guys from shooting themselves in the foot. So again an attack can be um, a Malicious attack, but it could also be an accidental uh, Thing that maybe an engineer another engineer might do or someone that has too many permissions um, doing something that they shouldn't do whether it's maliciously or accidentally that happens a lot so that is something to consider and so um you know we could talk about the history of the blue team uh, blue team came from uh, military simulations and war games so there is that connotation between the blue team and the red team and so if we look at here we have uh, the you know here's a blue team working on field exercises and then uh the red team working on you know attacking so um, just a side note, but in any case, what you want to focus on as a blue team member, and again, a lot of the jobs are going to be on this. That means you're going through logs, you're going through um, putting proactive and defensive measures to uh, check for vulnerabilities in your system, to uh, reduce the permissions of, of things that don't need it. So employing least privileged, for example, least privileged throughout the system, for example, um, em enabling zero trust. So doing, you know, a zero trust model. Um, so that's also something important. So take a look at this article, take a look at, um, you know, job descriptions that are out there. No one's going to say we're hiring a blue team member, but understanding what the blue team is, is important and understanding, you know, not, you know, I, I think um, I've mentioned the show uh, and my guests have mentioned the show several times that. You know, we're all attracted to being on the red team and, uh, you know, doing the penetration testing and, and things like that. Uh, while that is attractive, and I definitely encourage you to do so if that's something you're interested in. Um, but, you know, there are other ways to, uh, you know, the number of jobs that are out there that doing that full time are not that many uh, compared to the blue team side. Uh, but you could do that on your own as far as like uh, earning money on bug bounties and, and things like that. That's actually a very good way to um, to do those kind of activities. Um, and also, you know, as a blue team member, it is important to learn those skills and have those skills. But as difference of learning those skills and then actually finding a job to doing it day and day, knowing how to attack a system is actually very, very important. Uh, but also knowing how to build a system. In fact, I've heard uh, pen test managers say that a lot of their pen testers don't have any sysadmin skills. And so they wouldn't know, um, you know, basic system administration, but uh, they said they wish they did because that was, would be actually very valuable for them uh, in, their, in their penetration testing uh, work. So that's, you know, something to get, take into consideration. And uh, that's about it. We're out of time today. So uh, thanks for uh, watching and please like and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks. Bye.